Talk to me about the reviews. How, how do you read them? You um, I only read the good ones. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I read them all. I mean, you, you, I, it's exciting. Our show has, you know, been relatively, it's been very well received. And mm -hmm. I think that um, it's a fun show and it, a lot of people are enjoying it. And it's nice to see that people are t taking a little taste of it and wanting a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've all been, as an actor, you've all been on both sides of the coin. Mm -hmm. A show with great reviews, a show with not so great reviews. So um, this one has been very well received and it's exciting for us. Yeah. So being the tutor of young socialites, Rose and Sage, mm -hmm. you teach them a lot about, I don't know, life and mathematics and, mm -hmm. and all that stuff. <laughs> But do they actually teach, start teaching Megan about, you know, sister, sisterhood and... I think that, you know, the girls teach Megan just as much as, you know, Megan teaches them. I mean, the, the tutoring situation, the school, the academics of it all sort of takes a, a back seat in a lot of ways mm -hmm. to Megan really trying to instill some sort of responsibility in these girls and also being a little bit surprised about how much compassion she has for the responsibilities that they have as socialites and all of those kind of things. Right. So. Um, they have very similar past. The girls lost their parents at a very early age. Megan and her sister lost their mother at a very early age. One of, you know, the girl's parents died. Her mom sort of flew the coop. Bailed. But mm -hmm. different, you know, it's it's a different, it's the same, it, the loss is still there. Right, and right. Um, to see how Rose and Sage handle that in a, two very different ways and, uh -huh. you know, understanding that as, as devilish as Sage can be, that there's a lot of pain deep down inside uh -huh, there. Uh -huh. And so I think Megan truly loves them from the start and is very invested. And I felt similarly to the girls as actors and as young women themselves when I first came onto the set, not knowing sort of what to expect, I felt the same way about them. And in fact, during a scene in the pilot um, where we shot, where Megan was um, talking to Charlie about how special these girls were and they were by you know, a, a campfire and you saw Megan get really emotional. And it was funny because Rena, our showrunner, said something to me. She said, you know, think of Lucy and Ashley right here, right now, uh -huh. and that's what you're talking about. And that was a real connection that I sort of felt. And right. it wasn't sort of an expected thing to kind of reach that emotion. Uh -huh, so, uh -huh. you know, in, in that particular scene. And so you see a real sort of relationship that she's forming with these girls and I've sort of immediately had with Lucy and Ashley as, as people too. Right, so right. Um, I think a lot of that is a real dynamic in our world. The girls really love each other. I really love them. Uh -huh. and. You know, there is a lot of special sort of big sister, little sister. We're all kind of teaching each other things. So life is imitating art. In a lot even of ways. Even on the set. In a lot of ways. Speaking of family, are we going to learn any more about Megan's father? Definitely. I think yeah. you're going to meet him in episode five. Okay. And he's a fantastic actor. Uh -huh. And um, and I think you're going to meet my mom. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. She comes back. She comes Father back. Father and mother. <laughs> Give me some more. Come on, you got more Give plot me some lines. more. Come on. I don't know what I'm allowed to. <laughs> um, you know, I mean, I think that uh, I think that the, the girls continue to kind of have their stumbling blocks in school. Mm -hmm. Their sort of, their goal of, you know, reaching fame and fortune um, lends itself to a little bit of drama. Uh -huh. um, I think that you'll see, you know, maybe Will and Megan maybe take, the romantic road or Ooh. at least dabble in it for a moment and mom and dad come and uh -huh. I get a best friend my best friend comes into town who's played by Sarah Drew who oh, okay. was from um, she was on Everwood and she's right. worked with Rena before and so she's an amazing actress and we're actually shooting that episode right now and it's been fun it's nice it's a nice dynamic for Megan to have a girl her age sort of uh -huh. approach right 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 and bounce yeah, ideas nice. off exactly of and, and be her ear <laughs> A very married daughter of the bride. Yeah. And extreme movie. You've been a busy girl. Um, well, we did extreme movie ages ago. I'm okay. interested to see um, that come out. It's going to be fun. I actually got to do. I played a little in a little vignette with Michael Sarah, which how can you not uh -huh. be um, in awe um, of that uh -huh. that piece of magic? Um, <laughs> I'm amazed by him. Uh, and uh, yeah, that was a great movie. It was you know sort of a not another team movie reunion. And uh -huh. I did it as I was headed off to Shreveport to do a movie and. Um, a Very Merry Daughter of the Bride is a Lifetime movie that I did um, that, you know, the people of Lifetime have been very good to me and good mm -hmm. to Reba and buying our show in syndication, uh -huh, so uh -huh. I would do anything for right, 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 right. And they make really good movies, so. Putting a few checks yeah, in the pocket. Yeah, totally. <laughs> well, more than that, they just really support, um, you know, strong female television, yeah, and cool. I appreciate that more than anything. Thank you very much, Thank Joel. You. I appreciate Thank you. Sitting, talking to you. Good luck. I know you're busy, you gotta get back to Thank set. Thank you for my flower. You're welcome, <laughs> you're so welcome. And hit us up here with more exclusive interviews of all your favorite CW stars. I'm Jason C. Joanna Garcia. Bye-bye. <laughs>